Hello and welcome everybody, it's me Daily Boy Dids and this is my Let's Play. Okay guys, we're actually in for a better treat than the first treat that we was in for anyway, which was the first episode. So in the last episode guys, you saw that we character created our character. We're going to be taking over Taron somewhere over there I believe, I don't know if a bit further over. A bit further, further over. Um, however, Something magnificent has happened. Well, not only was it my birthday the other day, but Crusader Kings 2 has decided to bring out yet another DLC. Alongside this DLC, well, there was three DLCs, but alongside these DLCs was a major update, a major patch, which basically has rendered all our old save files no, more, no longer playable. No longer playable. And I will show you this. I'll click save. I've got do the buddies and dids. Ah, something I need to just go over, and I'll do that in a second. So if we click on dids by dids, yes, I messed up. You will see here it is pre 2.1, and that is unloadable. I can't load you, even though I clicked on you. Let me try again. No, it doesn't load. So that game unfortunately is out. But never mind, guys. We hadn't even started. What it does mean is that I can now play in the dids file. Okay, I realise the error of my ways. I realise what I did. My name was Dids. Dids boy Dids. That was silly. Very, very silly of me. Very, 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 very silly. But nevertheless, I've just recreated the character. I've kept absolutely everything exactly the same. Exactamundo. No, everything was exactly the same. The only thing that I've changed is the Dids boy Dids to count Daily Boy of Taron, so my name is now Daily Boy Dids. Simple as that. Everything else is exactly the same. We've got all the same traits. We've got um, all the same stats that we had in the last one. We've got the exact same character. Now, one thing, guys, that I have just noticed, and you can't see me move my hand here, but one thing that I have just noticed is that our shield seems to be different. Now, I don't know if if that was the exact same shield as last time or not, but I'm pretty sure that it's not. I'm pretty sure that it's not. Um, yeah, I can't remember. I and mean, obviously, we can't go back now to check. But never mind, that's what we've got. That's our new shield. Now, I've done a little bit of research, guys, because I thought I was leaving you a little bit unfair uh, knowledge based. I don't even know if that's wording that I can use, but uh, a little bit unfair. So let's see if we can choose the correct area here. So the Dijur Duchess. Uh, it's not going to show it, is it? Oh, I don't know which one I picked before. Never mind. So, the Duchy of Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia is in fact um, the Duchy here, which I believe is Car Sites. I uh, can't see it because of that stupid thing there. Uh, but it basically includes Karin, Caliate, if that's how you say it, and Taron. That's the Duchy that we officially belong in. Okay? Now, we do actually officially come under Armenia, and we do officially come under the bigger de jure of the Byzantine Empire. However, however, and what threw my mind, guys, is the Kingdom of Mesopotamia actually starts here and kind of arches up and around to here. So it kind of goes that way. And from my gatherings, Taron wasn't part of that. Now, I'm presuming that it was. Because it just seems silly that the Duchy of Mesopotamia wouldn't be inside the Kingdom of Mesopotamia. That just does not make sense to me. But yeah, Mesopotamia, the Kingdom, is kind of here. I also went crazy and did a bit more research into the Jewish faith. Not much, mind. Uh, and I found out that uh, Palestine, which is somewhere around this region here, um, was the or is supposed to be the official homeland of the Jews. So obviously we're going to try and take the whole lot of this anyway. Uh, and the Kingdom of Israel um, is what we're going to basically try to establish uh, alongside everything else that we're going to try and do. And the Kingdom of Israel isn't just the Kingdom of Jerusalem, which I thought it might be, which is kind of that section there. Um, it, in, it involves four other areas as well, but we can get into that later on. It's one of the options for us to play towards. It's one of the goals for us to play towards. Uh, but it, I think it's Galilee. Uh, there's four of them. I can't. I'm not even going to pretend to remember them off the top of my head right now. Um, one of my other notes said I messed up on my name, but I've already corrected that. And luckily, I was I was pondering, should I correct it or should I just play as is? Well, as I said, I do want to try and play everything as it happens, um, unless there's a, a major um, 
crash on the system or something along those lines. And guess what? There was an update. It's just the same as a crash, I suppose, because we couldn't use the old the old saves. Now, that was completely unplanned. I didn't know about this. So, what has come out? Well, the map, for one thing. Uh, when I was reading it, I thought they had updated Northern Africa. But they haven't really updated Northern Africa. They've included all of this! India! Congratulations, India! You're part of one of the greatest games in the world. <laughs> so you're part of uh, Crusader Kings 2 now. So all this is spanking, spanking new. This was definitely not here last time I played. Definitely not here last time we was on. Um, and I think you can play a few more things up here. And of course, this is called the Raja, or the Raj of India. And obviously, DLC-wise, we have claimed it as well. If I was just to press escape, escape, can I show you that? Maybe I can. Options? No, I can't. Not from that one anyway. Uh, not going to bother with it. I'll show you next time. Uh, but we've got the DLC for that. So I think that this would have been involved in the updates. That would have come within the updates. Uh, but we have all, well, we've also got the DLC for it alongside the songs of India and the Turkish. Um, face masks i think it was the unit pack or something along those lines okay guys so that's all that let's we'll, that that's in the past now i went into a lot of detail of what we're going to be doing in this let's play everything else is the same so guys let's get stuck in i'm going to try and keep this oh one of the other things i just wanted to go over is we will not be playing for 43 minutes ever ever again um and i also no, I'm not, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna negatize my last my last video. Yes, I make up words. Negatize is one of them. Okay, so we're we're gonna try and get get it around the 25 minutes, 30 minute mark pop, uh, tops. It took just a yonk, absolutely yonks and yonks and yonks and yonks to render it and get it on YouTube. I don't really want to be messing about with that. But nevertheless, I've wasted about 10 minutes already. Let's get into this. So, in Crusader Kings, guys, straight away. I said I'm going to go through all these buttons, everything that's the interface, everything that we do as we play. But there's some things that we need to go through straight away. Now, the view that we're looking at now is a view that we probably look at most of the time. And that's the Independent Realms view. I will flip between some of the others. And I believe that there's a bunch more that I can pick as well. Uh, I'm not certain. Let's stick up the, um, the log, the message log, for when we actually press play and get going. Now, the first major thing that we have to look at... Um, for actions to do is to put um, these little icons, these little actions into play. And one of the first things that we're going to be interested in is picking an ambition. By picking an ambition, which will just happen to be get married. Uh, whoops, not that one. None of them. We're not married yet, and one of the ambitions will be to get married. So we'll pick the ambition. We'll get we'll get married instantly, and we'll achieve that ambition. Okay, and that will be done basically in the main character screen. There's us, yay! There's our Duke, yay! I'm going to go into the Duke and the land that we're involved in later on. But as you can see, I've kept all the things exactly the same. I just, I'm sure that wasn't like that though. Uh, nevertheless. So one thing I'm going to do straight away guys before I take care of this is I'm going to put my council out doing their work. And we have no council members. Why? That, I'm sure, I'm sure it never started like this last time. Oh, it's all gone Pete Tong. So, the council basically is the close advisors that work alongside you and you can set them out to do certain tasks. I'm going to go through this later on. I was just hopefully just going to throw them all out to start doing their work and then get back to you later. One of the things we need to check though is because we're Jewish and we want to make our area Jewish, we need to make sure that we've got a Jewish priest in our lands. Now, I'm pretty sure that in our church, our Bishop of Glack, um, the guy there, uh, Vedst of Glack, oh man, I should have picked England, I can pronounce most of their places. Yeah, he doesn't like us, and he doesn't like us for one major reason. Well, a few major reasons, but one of them is that we are an infidel, minus 27. That's because he is Maethasite, Maethasite. And we, of course, are Jewish. Yay, Jewish! <laughs> okay, so because we're Jewish, he's not liking us, which means we need to get him to like us. So we can do this a few ways. Um, one of the ways that we're going to do it is by literally taking that area. Um, I'm going to just take his crowning off him. Should I take it off him? Um, should I take it off him? You see... 
one of the things we can do is just take the titles away from these people. Um, it's not really the best way of playing, but my character is not really the sort of guy that's going to take this sort of crap. Yeah, this lad, not only it, does he not like us, but he's also zealous, so he's really for his religion. He really fights the cause for the religion. That's, that's not good for me. Superb for a bishop. But not good for me. I need a Jewish man in there. And I can actually bring in somebody who's Jewish as well, I think, through the intrigue tabs. Now, one thing that I can definitely try and do is click on him and revoke title. Before I do that, though, and something that he probably isn't going to do, I'll try and change his religion. And no, he's not going to He's not going to come to me. He really doesn't like me at all. Um, no, nah, he's not going to do that. So we could try and send him a gift. 26 gold we only have 43 gold and even if we did send him 26 gold he's only going to improve by 14 towards us so what do we need to do well we can we're going to have to revolt that title because we need that we need the bishop at least to be jewish okay because being jewish he can prostatalize the area and once the area is prostatalized he can then start prostatalizing people It'll probably be that it'll do people first or alongside and then the area as well at the same time. And that'll just make things so much easier for us in Taron. It will make it very, very difficult for us in Armenia and the rest of the area that we're in. But nevertheless, that's where we've got to start. So, what we are going to do is just click on our vassals. The other guy actually isn't massively against us. So, what we'll do is... Hmm, what we will do, yeah, we'll see how many men he's got at arms right now. So what I've done here is I've just clicked on my main portrait. I've clicked on the realm tree. Now the realm that comes up is the top man in the top area of our of our titles. So we own just a county inside a duke, a dukedom, a duchy. Okay, so the top man in our area is the duke. Now, if there was a king, the top man would be the king. The first line would be all the dukes. The next line would be the vassals or the counts of any one of those dukes. So for us, our duke, for instance, has all these vassals inside of him. Yeah, all these guys will fight for our duke. Can I make that bigger without making the whole thing bigger? I cannot. That's silly. Let's make the whole thing bigger then. So yeah, all these guys are going to fight for him. Now then, if I click onto my own tab, you can see the two vassals that I have. The um, bishopric, so the, the guy that I want to get rid of, and then my mayor. Now, what has he got in ways of strength? Well, he himself, 2,000 men, let me just check. Yeah, so the duke himself has got 2,651 men at full arms, okay? We have got a massive total of 422 men. Woo! So my little bishop here, he himself has got 364 men. Okay, so this is, might be a harder task than what we hoped. So 364 men. If we were just to click on the military, we have 400 men. So we should officially have more men than we need to take this on. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go and click on my my bishop and I'm going to request him to revoke his title now he's not going to like this and it's going to bring down the opinion of him by 80 points so he's really not going to like me it's also going to bring down the vassal's opinion the other vassal's opinion by 20 points but we've only got one of a vassal and he actually doesn't mind me too much the thing is though is i'm probably going to take that off him as well okay just to make it easy that my two vassals will be both um will both be jewish but let's see if this works and i can't i must have at least 25 prestige and my prestige currently is 20. ah oh, bummer Okay, so all that was for nothing. All that was for naught then, guys. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and get that bishopric off him. Now then, first thing that we'll do then, we'll screw that off, is we will get our ambition. And our ambition will be to become married. And as you can see, there's several ambitions that we have here. Um, to become Chancellor Marshal, the Steward, or the Spymaster, 
for our Duke. It's to amass wealth, to become a paragon of virtue, to get married, to improve our learning. Now you can improve your learning skills or any one of your skills if they are under eight and we've only got a seven. Um, and then it is to become the king of Armenia. And we will be doing that in the, the very near future. So the first thing we want to do is get married. That's our ambition and that's down. Okay, if we just hover over that, does that give us any bonuses? I'm not sure. Okay, so when you want somebody to get married, if you can do it directly, you can just click on this arrange marriage and that will bring up all the people that are eligible for marriage to us. Now, as you can see, there's only one person, Osmana, uh, who is a courtier in my area. Now, she doesn't particularly like me either. Osmana, what's going wrong? I'm an infidel. Oh, yeah. Myth aside. <laughs> okay, so this version is not going to work for us. Now, normally you do get some good people here, and you can sort of guarantee that these guys will always say yes. It's even better this screen if you're a female um, because you can click the matrilineal marriage, and anybody that's listed there will take a matrilineal marriage, which means that when um, the two people have a child, that the child's dynasty will be following the wife or the female. And not the male if it's a normal marriage then it'll be down the male line okay so obviously that's going to be important so one way that we can get married is just clicking on the search and we can select a set of searches ourselves now we'll check the realm first and what we want to do here is obviously we want women we don't really want them in prison we don't want them to be married they can be a ruler if they wish um, we do want them to be my religion and that's really important and straight away there's nobody on the list so we're going to have to extend our search out to all people. Now, again, there's not many people available. So, um, my culture, any will do at this point. Adult or child will do at this point. Um, great house, any. So there's literally just four people. That's very, 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 very bad. Okay, but we need an heir. That is our absolute prime goal right now. We need to get an heir, uh, and we need that heir as soon as possible. Is there anything else that I can change here? My religion. It, uh, let's just put any religion on right now, and let's just see if we can get anybody that semi-likes us. So we're going to look to bring somebody in that isn't necessarily my religion, but has got some good stats. And the stat that we really need, the stat that we'll look for later is stewardship, because the more higher your stewardship points, the more areas, the more individual counties um, that you can control. And the more counties you control, the more power that you have. Um, right now, we can take on three areas, three different titles, and we've only got the one. Um, we will take all three because we're going to try and take our titles off our own vassals right now. Ooh, what's that? I don't even know what that means. What's that? Barman. Okay, so these are obviously off the new, um, off the new Raj of India DLC. Uh, so the things that we're looking for here would be things like attractive, genius, lustful. <clears throat> They're the primary things that we're after. However, they might be usurped right now by other major traits. So, for instance, we have got a 14, a 25 in um, in our intrigue. Do we really need somebody with such a high intrigue as us? I don't know. Our spy master, if we were to take on a spy master, the best spy master we've got is a 16, which is actually really quite good. So we don't really need a spy master to come in. Now, spy master women, your, your own wife, can become a spy master. As far as I'm aware, they can't become anything else and yet that still seems to be the situation okay so what we need to do then is at least let's have a, our own culture yeah so at least let them be Armenian but now we just want to try and find somebody that's either got really high stats one of those major stats so a genius or what have you or then just somebody who's very very good in a certain area and I think the thing that we'll go for will be diplomacy as one of the first things we check. Is there anybody that literally stands out for one of the other areas? Uh, 
That doesn't seem to be... Wow, 67, but she's lushful. Hey, hey, Hesperin. You look very sexy, I like that. <laughs> so it's not looking good here, is it, guys? So one of the best ones I can see off the top of my head is this girl here. She's a grey eminence, 16 in diplomacy. That'll shoot our diplomacy up as well. Um, paranoid, but gregacious is good. Now, I suppose, though, at the same time, we've got Nain. She's a courtier in Mustathered. Um Patient, same as me. Deceitful, same as me. That'll go to, that will be helpful. Um, she's lustful, the same as me. And she's also um, a Midas Touch. So they're all good traits to have. I mean, she is gluttonous, but we'll look beyond that. She looks pretty sexy. She's only 16 years old. I think it might be her. Ooh, bit of a mic thing going on there. I think it might be her, personally. I think it might have to be her. Let's just have a quick scroll down, see if anybody else... Well, there's not many people anyway, so... Yeah, I think that's the lady we're going to go for. It's probably going to be Nain. There's nobody that is specifically fantastic out there. So, Nain will be the one. And we're going to go and tear up this world. Me and Nain. Oosh. Hey, Nain. Want to come marry me? I want to invite you. You're not coming to my court. What about a marriage? To me. Yes. So, we're going to actually lose quite a lot of prestige here. But I'm okay with that right now. So, Nain is off doing her thing, and that's fine. If I was to go into the council right now and try to appoint, there's nobody else there. Okay. If I went onto my entry tab, you can see there's loads of different options for us to do. And we'll definitely do some of these. I've not seen most of these before. Um, we can convert to the local religion, which is Maithite. Uh, and that's because of our... That's because... Our ruler is Maithite. It's what the main religion is in our area. If we were to invite a holy man to court, which costs five piety, it's called Gostanit. Oh, Gostanit! I can't believe this! <laughs> Gostantin. Uh, I wonder if he'll become. I wonder if he, if he comes to me as a Jewish holy man. Let's click that and just check. So. We're going to start the game, we'll run it as slow as possible, and hopefully we'll get married straight away. And as you can see, there's a few things happening, so our Duke has given away a couple of counties to people, and there's a few wars already started up as well. So, we're just waiting for the potential of our wife right now to come through. We click that. So gosh damn it is here and he is Jewish. Fantastic. Okay, so let's just um, X that off. Count Daily Boy. And so Count Daily Boy and Count Daily Boy have gotten married. Yay, I've married myself. It's my dream. <laughs> and we can collect a royal aid to pay for the ceremonies. Now we can either collect a one gold um, bonus of so royal aid or we can take 50 prestige now we're down to minus 80 prestige so that's exactly what we're gonna go for no people will respect wealth but we've been married to ourselves now we've been married now and that's brilliant so we fulfilled that title ambition uh, sorry not the title ambition we fulfilled the ambition to become married and now we get to choose another ambition hence why we chose it in the first place so I'll quickly put that on pause and at this stage now, I think we might as well um, go crazy and get our council out. We'll choose our new ambition and then we'll bring this particular game to a hold. So the bishop, the court rabbi at the moment, um, of course, is not Jewish. But we do have a Jewish rabbi here. Now, unfortunately, he's absolutely shocking. He's shocking. Nevertheless... Oh, he's slow as well. Not very good at all. Uh, nevertheless, we'll stick him in in a moment. Let uh, as as our main bishop. Ah, oh, shocking, shocking, shocking. Well, let's see if we can find somebody then. So let's go on to men. My religion, yes. 
So there's literally nobody at all, is there? There's very, very few people out there. Um, for us to work with. What if he's not our culture now? Then here we go. Here's some more peoples and a couple of people that like us as well. So if we could bring one of these guys over, that'll give us a better shot. And one of the first people, hmm, he's already a rabbi. If we can find a courtier, that might be worthwhile. A quick flick through. So we've got a nine there. He's not really a bishop though. He's more of a warrior. Could could work for us though that I suppose. He sort of likes us. Anybody that particularly likes us? Not really. A few people aren't too bad. Um, and I suppose then. Oh, he's a mayor. He's pretty good actually. He's actually really quite good. Um, this guy, another rabbi. And hopefully if he hates his man, which he doesn't, of course he doesn't. I hate you then for not hating your friends. So the one way that we could get him is if he sort of likes us but really dislikes his own liege, we might be able to bring him in that way. So I'll just check a few, won't check many. Hopefully there's somebody that absolutely detests their own liege, that's got a high figure. And ooh, we've got one there, potential. So he's only 25 years old. Intrigue. His intrigue and um, his learning are decent. He just about likes me. If we were to send him a gift, he'd go up by 30. So 32 against 24. It's probably not enough. It's probably not enough as it is. And in fact, we can't bring him in anyway. So it's good that I didn't even press that um, because he's already a rabbi. So there'd have to be a nobody. For this to occur, so a courtier, for instance, like this guy, um, and he, you see now we've got the invite to court. All right, so we're just gonna have to make do at the moment. We're gonna have to make do with our new guy, and we will put him straight in. It it doesn't make any sense not to. So we'll stick him in, and we'll get him proselytizing our area, and he might get some success. Four is so so low. As I said, what we want is anybody who's 15 and above, um, ideally. Um, to really stand much of a chance. Now we do have a spy master. Again, he doesn't like us right now. Um, and I think what's going to be really important is to make sure that we are as safe as possible. And I believe that'll be under scheme. So plots uncovered. Uh, we can build a spy network as well. Uh, just double checking. No, so yeah, it is. We want a scheme and we want a scheme in our own area. Um, for our steward. We've got a 13, and he is the best of the bunch. So he's also the mayor. Uh, and right now, again, we're not going to be building anything in the near future. We can't yet use economy, uh, but I'll go through all these properly later. I just want to get these out. So he's going to go and collect some taxes in Taron. Um, our marshal. Now, we're actually not too bad in marshals. We've got three decent fighters. This guy, obviously, in particular, is the main one. He's only 36 years old. Um, so we'll get him straight in as Marshal. And Suppress Revolt, that might be required because we're Jewish again and not many people are going to like us. Um, train Troops, I think we'll go for that one and we can't do Military Tech. So we'll go for Train Troops right now. And our Chancellor. So our Chancellor, um, we've got a very, very good Chancellor actually. 26 years old. He's 23 in the, um, in the skills slot. As I said, 15 is excellent, 20 is phenomenal, so 23 is, is absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. We'll get him in. Now then, the two major things that we'll need is fabricating claims and improving relations. And I think right now, we're probably going to need to improve our relations with our own liege. Um, there's no point trying to expand just yet. Um, our liege is currently situated over here. Nope. Over here, yeah. And our liege, he doesn't like us right now. And I don't want to give him any money, so we will send our Chancellor out to just improve relations out here. Um, try and take the edge off a little bit. Okay, that's the council set out. 
Again, I'll go through all these properly later. We definitely need a better court rabbi than what we've got, but he's out doing his main job. This is the major job right now, is um, trying to proselytise everybody. We'll give this Chancellor about a year out there, see if he can do anything. After that, back in Taron to try and uh, make everybody else here like me, which will be great. Okay. And then we'll go through other tabs, we'll get play in the games, and the last thing I said I would do is pick a new ambition. And my new ambition will be, woo, lots of things. So we do want a child, we're lustful, she's lustful, get us a kid. I don't, uh, do I like that? I don't know, I don't know if I like that. Oh, we're the same as him. No, that's me. <laughs> I thought that was our duke then for a minute, but it's me, it's just me. Okay, so we're going to um, pick our new ambition, and again, we're going to want to have a son. So, let's get frisky, love. Let's just get frisky. Let's get physical, physical. So, she actually doesn't like me at the moment at all. Um... So she ain't going to get frisky with me at the moment. So what we're going to try and do is ask her to change. She's not going to change. Give us some monies. So she's changed by 48. Now that won't be enough to get her to change religion. But it will certainly give us a start. Puts us down to 25 in gold. But you know what? That's doable. That's doable. So she really doesn't like... Oh, so that's my opinion of her is really bad. Uh, but her opinion of me is not too bad. Let's see if she'll change now. She will change, yay. So let's just see her change that over. So she's going to change into the Jewish faith in just two days. And Jewish! <laughs> so she's Jewish. <laughs> and instantly you can see. Now we like her. She likes me even more. Um, she's... Minus 10 for um, making a change, but you know what? She'll deal with that, no problem. Okay, guys, I'm going to bring this one to an, an end right now. We've got everything to go through. We'll go through the council properly. We'll go through the law system. Um, personal laws here. Uh, the major laws in Armenia. I'll talk about the technology later on, even though we're not using it yet. Again, we'll go through the military stuff later on. Um, we've got intrigue, which is going to play a big role for us. I think in the very, very near future, I want to create Israel. Uh, we can now choose a plot to kill our own wife. We're not going to do that yet, though. Uh, we'll talk about factions, which none are involved in just yet. And, of course, this is one of the screens that I've never really bothered with before in the past, the religious screen, but something that I'm very, very interested in in this Let's Play. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it with you there. I hope you enjoyed this first this first episode for um, for Taron. We've made it through 21 days of gameplay. Yes! Half an hour and 21 games of day play. 21 days of gameplay. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the next video. See you now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Bye-bye.